Hi YouTube and welcome to this Tesla full self-driving beta 10.8 video. If you'd take a moment to please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification icon, and then also leave a comment. I love to talk with people about Tesla, about full self-driving, about the Model Y. Really ask me anything. I'm happy to engage with you all and answer any questions you might have. So this is the first drive. This is December 24th of 2021. We just got the holiday update both for the production release but also for the full self-driving beta testers this year. Couldn't be more excited. Uh, there's been a lot of changes. The visualizations have quite changed quite significantly. Um, you can now do this full self-driving um, expanded view where it takes up the whole screen. So definitely noticing a lot of improvements, a lot more smoothness with the way that it's driving. You can also tell that the tentacle that we used to call um, where the car is intending to drive has been smoothed out. It's looking a lot more production ready um, and it's feeling quite smooth. That isn't to say that it isn't without um, its issues. I am having to still intervene and give the accelerator pedal here and there, but I will say that the entire process is feeling a lot more smooth, a lot less jerky, um, and in the release notes, it does call out that that's a lot of where the development has been um, focused on this latest release. So just going to take a little bit of a drive, see the expanded visuals, see how the system's doing overall. Um, overall, I'm really impressed. The nagging seems a little more aggressive actually when you take your hand away from the steering wheel, especially your right hand. I don't think you can really see this left hand positioning from the, the camera up here. So, but overall I'm, I'm really enjoying it. There's definitely a learning curve related to the version 11 UI, which was included in the holiday release. So there's been a lot of changes um, just with that UI. Let's see how it does with getting over. It's definitely doing a lot more smooth lane changing. Um, so that's very welcome. And I'm actually downstate. So typically I'm up in Chicago driving with very narrow streets, very aggressive drivers, poorly marked roads. I'm actually in central Illinois visiting my parents and family for Christmas. So I do feel like the system does have it a little easier. I'm excited to get back up to Chicago and try the test loop. Now your destination is on the right. Okay, and we've arrived. So one thing I'm not clear about is how to cancel a navigation or destination when you do have that expanded to full screen. So I'm sure that um, as time goes and I get more experience using this UI, it'll get easier and easier. That's feeling pretty smooth. You can tell that it, it, it does hesitate and starts to think about doing this or that, but they seem to have cleaned up the way, at least for the driver. It might not look different for YouTube and on this video, but from my position, being in the car itself, it feels a lot more comfortable. There's a lot less harsh braking. Things feel a little more smoother. I think it can more fully utilize the regenerative braking so it can feather do nice and easy stops instead of being so aggressive. So it's feeling quite nice. And if you notice, it's actually 59 degrees here on Christmas day. Um, I think it's approaching a record warm uh, Christmas ever, pretty freaky. I could essentially have the windows down right now if I want it. It's, it's really a beautiful day. So we're probably gonna keep this video short just so I can get back and hang out with the family get ready for a Christmas Eve dinner. But hey, it's it's doing really well. They've made a lot of improvements for this 10.8. All right, let's see what it can do. Navigate to Walgreens and South Shores. Very nice. Wow. That's about how I would have driven it.